Hi there, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. So we are well underway for the eight-game playoff seeding schedule for the NBA, and we're going to take a look at the games in store for August the sixth. But again, remember, if you're not already a member, please join. You'll have access to the VIP club section with all these great tools to help you make your picks and win big every time. So let's take a look at some of these games. The first one we have here is the New Orleans Pelicans and the Sacramento Kings. You see the Pelicans right now average status. They have lost their last two and, and have won four out of their last six. The Kings are dead status at the moment. You can see losers of their last two and five out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see New Orleans has a plus 16 to plus 8 advantage. Both teams are on a downward trend at the moment. Head-to-head -head matchup. If you take a look at this, you can see that the Pelicans won the last meeting by a two-point margin as a road underdog. Both teams can enter 11th in the Western Conference with very slim playoff hopes. If you look at the uh, total predictor as far as betting the over and under is concerned, you can see New Orleans is playing in games trending under the line, while Sacramento is playing in games trending over the line. So avoid betting the over or under in this one. So what I'm expecting here is that the Pelicans won the first meeting between the teams. I expect much the same this time around. Now we take a look at the Indiana Pacers and the Phoenix Suns. Here the Pacers are average up at the moment. They came off a big win over the 76ers by 6. And they have won 4 out of their last 6. The Suns are burning hot at the moment. They have won their last 3 and 4 out of their last 6. Indiana is trying to hold on to the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference, and the Suns are pretty much all but out of it, 13th in the West. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will notice that Indiana has a 21 to 15 in May, but you see the, the, the steep uh, rise for Phoenix at the moment. As I know before, they're playing very well right now. Head to head, you see that the last meeting, Indiana won by a wide margin, 112 to 87 as a road favorite. You look at the power of uh, totals predictor to, for the over and under, you can see that Indiana is playing in games trending well over the line, as is Phoenix. This is a very, very good chance to win some money betting the over on this one. How stable have the two teams been? Taking a look at the volatility oscillator, You'll notice that Indiana has been performing more consistently according to their favorite underdog status at plus 20 compared to plus 5. And since Indiana is likely to be a significant favorite in this one, I expect Indiana to win rather easily. Now let's take a look at Miami and Milwaukee. This is probably the game of the day. Miami enters fourth in the Eastern Conference and they take on the top seeded Bucks. Miami right now is average having won three out of the last six, and Milwaukee also averaged, well, they're actually averaged down. They're coming off a 120-116 loss to Houston, and they have won three out of their last six. In fact, if you go back to the regular season, they have lost their last four, so maybe you want to take that into consideration. Look at the power ranking indicator. You see that Milwaukee is plus 27, Miami is plus 17. Head to head, you can see that Miami has won the last two by a 16 point margin at home and by a 5 point margin in overtime on the road. If you're considering the over and under, like we always do, Miami is playing in games trending over the line, Milwaukee is playing in games trending under the line. So, this is probably a good game not to put a bet on the over and under. If you look at the volatility elsewhere, not much of a surprise here that both teams are very stable. Milwaukee all the way up here at plus 46, Miami at plus 26. Milwaukee should be a favorite in this one. I expect Milwaukee to end their losing ways and get the first win of the season over the Heat in a very tight game. Now we take a look at the Los Angeles Clippers and the Dallas Mavericks. The Clippers are average up at the moment. You can see they have won four out of their last six. The Mavericks are average down. They have lost their last two. And they have won three out of their last six. Look at the power ranking indicator. Notice that the Clippers are at plus 23. The Dallas at plus 16. Both teams are on a downward trend at the moment. This is a good playoff position for the uh, 
Clippers, they are already second in the conference, so they are poised for a nice playoff run. The Mavericks, on the other hand, are seventh in the, in the conference, and they are looking to hold on to a playoff spot. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you see that the Clippers won the last two meetings, both on the road, while the Mavericks won on October 17th of last year on the road as well. So the road team has won every time, but that doesn't factor into play this time since there's technically really no home or road team. If you look at the totals predictor, considering the over and under, the Clippers are playing in games trending under the line. Dallas is playing in games trending over the line. So normally I would say to avoid the over under in that case. I want to see how stable the two teams are, which we always like to do. How well are they performing according to their favorite and underdog status? The Clippers are doing a great job at that, coming in at plus 29. And Dallas is stable as well, just not quite as stable. They are at plus 11. I expect the Clippers to be a favorite in this one. And already ahead in the season series 2-1, to one, I think the Clippers will pull away in the fourth quarter for another victory. Now let's take a look at Portland and Denver. Portland is ice cold down at the moment. They have lost four out of their last six, and they're coming off a 128-124 loss to Portland. Denver. Ice cold down. They have lost their last three and four out of their last six. Portland is currently 10th in the Western Conference, so this game is crucial for them against the third seeded Nuggets. If you look at the head to head, though, Denver has a commanding 3 0 lead in the season series. In fact, if you go back to October 17th and October 9th of last year, they have won five in a row against Portland. Look at the power rankings indicator. You see Denver's on a downward trend, though, at plus 19. Poor ones on a slight upward trend. They are at plus 10. Do we bet the over and under on this one? Well, Portland is playing in games trending over the line. So is Denver. Not far over the line, but both over. So I would take a, a gamble and go with the over on this one. Are the teams performing according to their favorite underdog status? Well, we'll take a look right here, and you will see... Portland is very much so doing that at plus 29. Denver has also been consistent, just not quite as consistent. They are coming in at plus 19. I feel like Portland's going to put up a good fight, a good showing, but it just seems like Denver has too much, and they will narrowly escape with the win, which is going to make things very difficult for Portland moving forward to make the postseason. The final game of the day is the Lakers and the Rockets. If you look here, this is another great game. This could very well uh, be the, the game of the day along with uh, Miami and Milwaukee. The Lakers are averaged down at the moment. They have won three out of their last six. They're coming off a 15-point loss to Toronto. Houston is burning hot. They have won their last four, including a win over Milwaukee. You look at the power ranking indicator. Lakers are up at the top here at plus 29. But look at the upward trend from Houston. Climbing significantly, they are up to plus 24. Head-to-head -head for this season, you can see that the Lakers have won one. Houston has won one. Both teams have won on the road by a considerable margin. Take a look at the totals predictor. The Lakers are playing in games trending right there over the line. Houston under the line, so again, I would avoid the over and under. Team volatility. Take a look at that one more time for today. The Lakers at plus 28 stability. Houston at plus 15. Which again indicates that both teams are performing pretty much according to their favorite underdog stats. It all comes down to which team will be the favorite. Likely that will be the Lakers. I think they will hold off the Rockets in a close game. Perhaps even in overtime to do so. But if you want to go with an underdog, any underdog in this uh, set of games, I would go with Houston because they could pull off what would be not a major upset, but a slight upset. So there you have it for the picks, but before we conclude, I want to show you this, and please go to this link if you want. You can see the link right here at the top. This shows the history of the Z code, 10 years worth. You can see how it started back in 2010. And if you see this graph, you can see from the launch the, the, slight in, the, the big increase 
up until 2013 with the usage, and then the golden age, where it was up at a con consistent high point. Then there was a decline for a period of a few years from 2015 to 2018. But then look at the big, strong uprise from 2018 up until the COVID-19 hit. We were on a, a big rise up to that point. But now look, increasing again, expected to increase again for years to come. You can see, just go down through here, you will see the, the story from its inception in 2010, 2011. You can read down through here. A lot of great information here as how Z code has come along the ways over the last 10 years. I'll just scroll down through here quickly so you can see it, but you can visit it yourself so you can take a, a closer look and read everything that this page has. A lot of great information, a lot of good stories, and shows you why you should actually become a member. It's a great community. You can see a lot of people make comments all the time. You can interact with other, with other users. It's a real great place to be. And again, you can go down here and leave a comment at the bottom of the page as well. So there you have it. There's the video for the week for the NBA. Enjoy the games, and we will see you next time.